Hello, welcome to my tutorial on how to get started with making your own Ethereum wallet. Um, this is pointed at beginners who have just entered crypto and want to uh, buy into some ICOs or possibly just hold the keys to their own wallet. Um, before we begin, uh, a prerequisite. Uh, it's assumed that you have a Coinbase account already and that you already have Ethereum sitting in there. Um, that is something you must do on Coinbase or another exchange. Uh, my Ether wallet does not support buying any tokens. They are purely just a wallet generator and a website that will help you send and receive uh, Ethereum. So to get started, um, we are first going to generate a wallet. Um, you're going to have to pick up password real fast. This is something you need to remember. If you forget this, you're going to have a bad time. So I'm going to go ahead, pick my password, generate a wallet, save your wallet file. Don't forget your password. This is super important. And now is a good time to explain what's going on. Um, you are basically generated what's called a private key. And this is what shows ownership to your account. If anyone has a private key, they can sign off. It's like them having your checkbook and whoever has your checkbook has access to your account to send money wherever they please. Um, there's also a public key. Um, they both look very similar. The difference being a public key is something you give out to people when you want to receive money from them. Um, and there's no problems with that being out in the public. And lastly, we have a key store file. Uh, key store file is just a file that holds your private key and public key and it encrypts it with the password we just created. So you're going to go ahead and download that. We now have a little file down here. Uh, this is your key store file. And as this warning says, it is very important. Um, if you don't save this file, your ETH and tokens will be lost forever. It is as serious as, serious as it sounds. Um, if you'd like, uh, I will show you later on ways you can back this up. Um, an insecure way, but a safer way would be to email yourself this file. Again, I don't recommend it. Um, there are other better ways of going around doing it, but um, let's promise them that we won't lose this. This key right here, do not share ever. Um, this is your private key, uh, the, the keys to your wallet. Um, right here, you're able to print a paper wallet. I highly recommend doing this if you can. Uh, a paper wallet that you could laminate and hide somewhere, either a safety deposit box, a safe. Um, keep in mind, uh, if there was ever a natural disaster or your house burned down, you want these in other places just in case of emergencies. Uh, but I highly recommend you print one of these off and never show it to anyone. And uh, just know that that is your bank account keys. So. Uh, now that you've gotten this far, we're going to go ahead and save your address. And uh, yeah, so we are inside of my Ether wallet. Uh, the first step that we want to do is um, we're going to go ahead and click on send Ether and tokens. We aren't actually going to send yet, but um, there are different ways of having a wallet. And my Ether wallet mainly works with key store files. Uh, so let's go ahead and select the wallet file. We just. Um, we just made down here. Excuse the mess while I find this. So find the file in your downloads folder. Go ahead and put in your password. It will unlock your wallet. And you will be met with uh, this screen. Um, over here is your public address. Uh, this is what you will use to receive funds. Um, this is a send transaction screen. Uh, which we won't be needing. What we're going to do is grab your address from here and go on Coinbase. We are go over to the send request tab. Um, go ahead and switch this Bitcoin wallet down here to Ethereum wallet um, and go ahead and paste in your Ethereum uh, public address that we just talked about. I'm going to go ahead and say use max and it's going to put as much Ethereum as I have. You'll notice that it's not sending the 0.01, it's sending 0.09559. The reason behind this is because the Ethereum network has what's called gas, 
And every transaction and every operation on the network, whether it's just sending funds or possibly running uh, a program on the network, costs um, Ether. So even to simply send funds, it will cost a small fee. Uh, luckily, it's nothing, it's nothing big. So portions of a penny. Uh, we're going to go ahead and send the funds. And I'm going to put this in really fast. Okay, and we've completed the send. Um, it should be noted that this may take a quick second, but this is a good time to go over how your uh, public address works. You'll see that there is an Ether scan link down here on your My Ether Wallet page. If you go ahead and open that in a new tab and look over here, um, we can now see the pending transaction from Coinbase 20 seconds ago. Uh, and it is the Ethereum coming in. It will update slowly. I'm going to go ahead and just refresh the page. 34 seconds. This can take, I don't know, roughly a minute, I want to say. Oh, not even a minute. Uh, the funds are available. We have our 9559 Ether. We have the USD value as of right now. And uh, we can see the transaction is finally complete. Um, if you go over to my Ether wallet right now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page and redo the key store file just so that it updates as well. Sorry. Add the password. Okay, there's our ETH. Uh, it rounds it up for us, which is a nice little feature. Um, now that we have an Ethereum wallet with Ether in it, uh, this next portion of the video will explain converting Ether into another type of token. Um, you will see a lot of um, coins nowadays, but specifically what I want to talk about are uh, assets that are built on top of the Ethereum platform. We have things like Golem, Gnosis, Agar. These are all uh, tokens on the network uh, that piggyback off of Ethereum's network. And the way to buy and hold these is by using your Ethereum wallet. So what we're going to do in this example is buy some of these tokens uh, using or converting our Ethereum. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this by using a website known as Shapeshift. Uh, Shapeshift holds every kind of coin you can imagine. Um, we're going to go ahead and tell them that we want to convert our Ether into Singular DTV. I'm going to go ahead with Precise and tell them what our deposit amount will be. Um, we will send them 0 0.001. Uh, oh, that is below the minimum limit. We're going to go ahead and bump that up to 5. There we go. Um, so we have to give them a address to send the singular DTV to. And we also need to give them an address in case something goes wrong. So what we're going to do is grab our public address from here. Go ahead and add it for the singular DTV address. Um, and the reason why that we can send one type of coin to our Ethereum wallet that isn't Ether is because Singular DTV is built on top of Ethereum and any token that's built on top of Ethereum can be sent to the same wallet. Uh, it makes our job easier. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and say for the Ether refund address, it's the same thing. Uh, agree to the terms and start the transaction. What will happen from here is you will be given an address uh, a public address to send some ether to. They're expecting 0.005 of an ether and once they receive that we will be able to get our token. Um, now real fast the gas limit leave it at 21,000 but one thing I will say is that you can lower the gas price. Uh, gas limit needs to stay a certain amount just so operations will run um, but you can decide how much the gas costs um, you could lower the price, which would get you a um, slower transaction. It'll take a lot more time pending, um, but it won't cost you a lot in fees. 
or if you want it now 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 you could do really fast um, just for the sake of the tutorial I'm gonna put it fast but in any case where uh, time is not an issue go ahead and drop that slider down here does not need to be higher than that I'm um, gonna leave this at 25 Gui and let's go ahead and generate our transaction uh, just go ahead and send it up we're sending ETH 0.005 make the transaction and we are solid so gonna go over to shapeshift and we are going to await the deposit from here oh and it got accepted super fast that's why you put a high transaction fee alright the transaction is done our singular DTV has been sent we can even click to see it on the blockchain it's currently pending okay awesome the confirmations done uh, the token will now show up on our account once we um, we don't even actually have to refresh I think we can just click on show all tokens we need to refresh go ahead and pick your key store file again BAM okay we see how much ETH we have left and we see our token balance we have three singles um, from here we have our own wallet we have our own ETH and we control the keys um, that's all you need to know